everyone needs Jaffa cakes. Will you take part in my life, my love? That is my dream. I think I'm happy. It's what you make it. Okay, guys. Let me show you something. I've gone and done it. I've got one of these really controversial cycling bar bags. And I know, I know, this blue does not match, but it's okay because they kindly sent me lots of different colors. I think this is the best bag you can buy for your bike. Now, honestly guys, I just think they actually look wicked and they're also super super practical so to be honest i think everyone should get one and i know it's controversial because you know you've got this nice sleek beautiful aerodynamic bike and then you go stick a bag there but honestly come with me and i'm going to show you something Why would you need this bag? Because to be honest, I wouldn't bother putting my tools in it because why would you? Put your tools in your back or in your pocket because when something breaks, you need to get off your bike anyway. So it doesn't matter about it being there. No, nope. this bag, definitely designed for things you need to get easy. easy. You know, gels, food, you know, you know what it's gonna be. However, this bag, honestly store so much stuff. Check it out. We've got Mauams. Mauams for days. We got some chewits. We've even got a flump in here. And the number one thing that everyone needs Jaffa cakes. You need Jaffa cakes on your ride. But no that's not even it. There's more. You can fit a whole, how big, 300 gram bag of jelly sweets. It's crazy. And to be honest, you could probably get more in there. I'll pick all that stuff up now. Now, of course, if you don't want to carry this much sweets with you, you don't have to. You can use this to store your phone, chargers, power banks, perfect position to charge your Wahoo, your Garmin, whatever you got. Mate, I don't have a flump in ages, it's quite good. 20p now though. If you're going to store your phone and stuff and electrical goods, you need to know, is it waterproof? And by like, I mean normally, that'd be a really easy test in England. However, for some reason, it's sunny. It's like 25 degrees. I don't know what's going on. So, I guess we'll just test it the old fashioned way. We got a water bottle. So, uh, yeah. One more for luck. Cool. So, that's a pretty um, heavy dousing of water on there. Right, let's open it. Let's see if it's dry. Okay, it's maybe a little bit damp. One thing I will say, and this is the first time I've tested it for waterproofness, at least with spraying it down with a water bottle with quite thick loads of water, this thing's not that waterproof to be honest. I thought it would be more waterproof, but it's damp. It's, it's damp inside. I'm not sure where that came in from, but I think you're, it's not like soaking wet inside, it's just a little bit damp. I think it's probably gone through the zip part, to be honest. Okay, but this is what these tests are for. So maybe if you're gonna stick your phone in there or some electrical goods, maybe stick it in a little plastic bag as well, just for um, super heavy downpours. 
but a spot of rain, I think you'll be fine. However, that's just one of the reasons I like it. Because this bag's so it's so compact. It's not overly big like a lot of the others that I have seen. This one, it doesn't get in the way of your shifters or any hand positions and it's solid. It doesn't move. It just, it's just nice. Do I recommend you use it in a race? Obviously not. Is it technically going to be any slower than not having it? Well, it's more weight, so probably. It's probably not the most aerodynamic thing. However, for long days in the saddle, this is perfect. I always find myself needing somewhere to put something, whether it's rubbish or an extra water, an extra little drink that I brought from the shop. Normally rubbish, to be honest. <laughs> or a little pack of sweets or a bit of extra food that you don't want in your pocket because you want to keep it a bit cooler and not have the hotty sweat back food. I'm gonna finish my ride now and then we'll jump in and I'll show you the finer details of this bag. Right, so this bag is the Sea Sense bar bag. It cost me 20 pounds, I think. I put it up on the screen. I'm pretty sure it was 20 pounds to the bars with just some nice straps. These clips have little teeth, so as you put it through, it grips onto these and it holds it very securely. I had all them sweets in there and it didn't move. It was very secure. You have this little strap here, which I didn't use. I think it's meant to sort of go around the stem, around the, maybe around the back of the stem to sort of hold it in place. Oh, I'm not actually sure. So the bag has two little mesh pockets on either side, which is brilliant for like storing bits of rubbish. I keep my keys in one side, in this side, so I can pop this down and it will just sort of hold them in and they're not going anywhere and very easy access when you get home. Nice, easy to use zip, doesn't get caught. Very nice. Inside, very spacious as you could tell. I could fit a hell of a lot of sweets. I'm gonna be using this mainly for carrying my camera gear because on the GoPros, I you have this little screw um, and in my back pocket when I go to pull it out, it always just catches in my pockets and it's just a bit of a hassle. Having this in front of me where I can just pick it up, sort it, it's perfect for me. Inside, it actually has a little mesh pocket here, which is gonna be perfect for storing batteries. So yeah, that is the C-Sense bar bag it's a great little bag. A little disappointed with how waterproof it is. So maybe I'll, it's not like crazy wet inside, it just feels a bit damp because I'm not, not sure if that actually just went in through the zip, which is fairly possible because I did give it a good dousing. What do you think about these types of bags for road bikes? Because I feel like it's a very controversial subject putting bags on your road bike. I know it comes from the gravel scene, but I think this is a very, very useful bit of kit. Is this the man bag of cycling? Thank you for watching guys. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave some comments if you have any questions about the C-Sense bag or Canyon or anything you like. And I'll see you in the next one. Keep smiling.